What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equalize Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today, I'm a little late on this, but we're gonna be talking about it nonetheless. Today's topic is the Ghost Point Streak system and its recent update to it. Now I'm sure you guys have heard already, but if you have not, Infinity Ward tweaked the Ghost Point Streak system a little bit so that it would better reward objective players. Now Infinity Ward has always been the type of people to reward you for kills, making the streaks kill streaks, not really score streaks. Black Ops 2 is highly successful and how they did that with these score streaks so that it combined kills as well as objective play into getting your streaks. Now previously before in Call of Duty Ghost, the only way that you would be able to get a point towards your score streaks for the objective play was if you were the one to actually cap a base and if there are multiple people on it, if you were the first one credited with it. So realistically, who in their right mind would actually want to play objective if you're trying to get streaks? And that is a lot of people's main goal when playing games. They want to get amazing gameplays, get their score streaks and get out. So why would anybody play objective? if it's not going to help them get to one of their tasks. But thankfully with this new patch, it gives people a reason to play objectively. In the game modes, kill confirmed, domination, and grind, half points are now awarded for being the objective player. So a quick rundown of what you can get the half points for. Kill confirmed, a half point is rewarded for collecting a dog tag. In domination, a half point is rewarded for capturing a flag to neutral, and then another half point to actually changing it to being captured for your team. In grind, half a point is rewarded rewarded for each tag banked. So maybe now I won't be the only one going for domination flag caps or in kill confirmed I won't be the only one going for tags. Now granted that may still not be the case, it is great because in my cases now I can go for higher streaks, higher point values simply because I can combine my two playstyles now where I'll slay out and then also play the objective at the same time. For players like me where I do both, it's very rewarding and can make for some upcoming awesome gameplays. Now as for when this was slipped into the game itself it was a hot fix added a couple days ago to the game so you're not going to be seeing it at any of the patch notes you may end up seeing it in the next patch notes being released as a previous fix to the game, but hot fixes are automatic. They're just updated with the playlists and there's no actual update to the game required. So this is something that was very subtle, very quick and very fluent on the part of Infinity Ward. And I thank them for that because it is an absolutely amazing addition to the game. So all in all, this is one absolutely amazing fix in my opinion. It's something that was just slipped in really quickly and now can reward all of you for playing objectively. Now that's really all there is to say on it. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments comment section down below. Is it absolutely brilliant? Is it something stupid? Or is it something that should have been in the game from launch? Personally, I think it's the latter of the three, and I'm just excited that it's going to be here for the rest of the duration of Call of Duty Ghosts. That's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, please leave a like ring down below. Any shares of your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace if you're OG like that are always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty Ghosts content. I have a ton of stuff still coming to you guys. As always, hope you guys are having a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.